This video will demonstrate how to set up dry running protection on a Hydro MPC in hydronic applications using the limit exceeds function. The system you're working on has been set up for either differential pressure control or proportional differential pressure control for HVAC without dry run protection. So to begin, we're we'll arrow to the right to the settings. We're going to arrow down to monitoring functions. We'll press the OK to get into our monitoring functions. We're going to arrow down to limit one exceeded. And we'll press OK. We'll arrow down to the monitoring of limit enabled. Press the OK to enable the function. We'll arrow down to the input value to be monitored. Currently, it's not used. We'll press the OK to select that. Then we'll press the down arrow. Until we get the differential pressure pump low. Press the OK button to select that option. So now we'll be using the inlet sensor, which is configured for differential pressure pump low on the manifold to detect low pressure on the suction header. So next we'll set the warning and the alarm limits for our system. So hit the back arrow one time. So then we'll arrow down to the limit type. And we're going to arrow down to min limit so that we can choose that option. So we'll press OK to select that option. And we'll arrow down to set warning limit. Press OK, arrow down to Enabled, press OK to select that option, and we'll arrow down to our warning limit. So for our system, we're going to set a warning limit of 10 PSI, so we'll press OK to select that option, and we'll arrow up to 10 PSI. And press OK, and we're going to leave our warning reset set to Auto. So then we'll hit the back arrow, or arrow down to alarm limit, select that, press OK to select that. We're going to arrow down to enabled, and we'll press the OK button to enable the alarm limit. Then we'll arrow down to our alarm limit. We're going to press the OK to change the setting. We're going to change our alarm limit to 8 PSI. APSI. We'll hit OK to select that. We're going to arrow down to our alarm reset and we're going to change that to auto if it's not already been selected. Press OK to select. Then we'll press the home button and the setup's complete. Now you'll want to make sure that you set the alarm level at a point high enough that it'll cause the system to alarm before there's any damage to the system but not so high that you get any nuisance alarms or warnings. And with that, our setup's complete. We hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thank you.